if you are planning to visit the Philippines anytime soon, you need to know and you need to hear this. My name is Romilet Metz and welcome to Fell Arm World Magazine. Today I would like to talk to you about travel, especially traveling to the Philippines. And I do have the latest advice as well as updates. If you are planning to visit the Philippines anytime soon, you need to know and you need to hear this. Okay? Um, we have the latest update that you might some you know some information that might be useful to you that you might want to hear and you need to know so entry restrictions and instructions starting february 10 2022 the philippines allow entry to fully vaccination vaccinated visitors from the united states and from other countries that are permitted without a visa travel if you are a u.s citizen and fully vaccinated you are no longer subject to facility-based quarantine upon arrival. However, you must be able to provide proof of your COVID-19 vaccination and thus the vaccination that you have acquired is recognized by the Philippine government. So I'm just gonna wrap this up, okay? So if you are a US citizen visiting the Philippines and you are fully vaccinated, you are not subject to facility-based quarantine anymore. However, you need to also consider that the vaccine that you got is something that the Philippine government recognized because even if you think you're fully vaccinated and then the Philippine government does not acknowledge the vaccination that you received, then you are considered not vaccinated traveler or international traveler. So you need to find out what type of vaccination you got, you know where you get it from, either Moderna, Pfizer, or from somewhere else. Uh, make sure that it is recognized by the Philippine government for you to be able to grant entry, okay? To gain entry. Now, all travelers, vaccinated or not, must present a negative RT-PCR results from a test taken within 48 hours of departure from their country of origin. Regardless if you're vaccinated or not vaccinated, you must present a negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours of your departure time or departure from your uh, country of origin, okay, so where you came from. And also you are obliged to report if you feel like or if you suspect that you have been you know that you have you contracted the COVID-19 virus and you are feeling or showing symptoms then you need to report it to the local authorities okay fully vaccinated returning Filipinos and residents will no longer have to quarantine however they are still subject to the RT-PCR testing requirements as international traveler. So if you are a Filipino and you're returning from other state or other from other countries, whether you're vaccinated, if you're vaccinated and returning from other countries, you travel internationally, you are considered as an international traveler. And so you need to still comply the manda mandatory, you know, um, RT-PCR test and you need to come back negative okay so now this is another part for the unvaccinated or partially vaccinated travelers so unvaccinated is the people of course obviously did not get any vaccine at all the partially vaccinated travelers are the ones who got the initial vaccine and did not get the booster shot both will be subject to quarantine in a government facility while waiting for the RT-PCR test result. 
They also must test negative of the RT-PCR test on the fifth day to be released and home quarantine for 14 days. So my advice to unvaccinated travelers or the one who are not fully vaccinated or the one who didn't get a booster shot, you are going to be quarantined in a facility based uh, or government facility uh, based quarantine okay and then you need to be tested negative in the PCR test like the fifth day you know upon your arrival and then on top of that when you get released from that facility uh, from that quarantine you need to quarantine for additional 14 days at your home so that's about like now. travelers under 18 years of age are all exempt from the vaccination okay however they might be also need to be tested uh, for the rt pcr uh, test um, to make sure that they're not negative or they're not positive okay so these are the common questions of our travelers especially travelers from the united states question number one are vaccines available in the Philippines for U.S. citizens to receive? The answer is yes, but circumstances may be limited. So what you need to do if you are a U.S. citizen and wish to be vaccinated, you need to contact your local government unit for information whether you qualify to receive the vaccine and the timeline for distribution. Now, if you are a dual U.S. Philippine citizens, you should be eligible for vaccinations under local programs. Foreign nationals and diplomats with legal residency status in the Philippines shall be included in the priority group appropriate to their circumstances. U.S. citizens working um, for private companies in the Philippines should inquire with their employers about vaccine. So. Um, so if you are a dual citizen, you should have no issue uh, in getting uh, vaccinated under your local programs, okay? So that's good. Question number two. Is a negative COVID-19 test required for entry in the Philippines? And the answer is yes. Whether you're vaccinated or unvaccinated or partially vaccinated, you are subject for the RT-PCR test and you need to come out negative. Now, question number three. Does Philippines have health screening procedures at airports and other ports of entry? And the answer is yes. So they'll take your temperature and you know, just like, um, just like what we see a lot in, in traveling even here in the United States. All right, question number three, are either PCR or antigen tests available for U.S. citizens? And the answer is yes. Question number four, are the commercial flights operating? The answer is yes. And question number five, are the public transportation or transports running? The answer is yes. So majority of the transportation or flights in the Philippines, the public commercial flights are not. So with that said, the commercial flights as well as the public transport are now running and operating in the Philippines. So all citizens from abroad traveling to the Philippines are urged to register. This is very important. So before you travel or before you go to the Philippines, you need to register. Once again, www.onehealthpass.com. This is how you basically register with the Philippine authorities. And you need to do this three days before your departure from your country of origin. Okay? Three days before. Okay. So while in the Philippines, okay, now let's say you are already in the Philippines, the Philippine government measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19 includes the mandatory wearing of masks. So there's a mask mandate in the Philippines, especially if you're going to public places. 
and the advice is you, you need to stay vigilant or monitor of the announcement from your local authorities to get the latest restrictions and regulations where you are located or staying. You also need to check the requirements for any travel outside of your residence or place you are staying, including to travel to the airport. Travelers should take particular care to observe all of the COVID-19 related travel precautions. So, mga kababayan ko, gusto ko nang umuwi sa Pilipinas! <laughs> My God! So, <laughs> you need to be aware that other countries may have an additional travel restrictions imposed including the country of your destinations. Please be advised to closely monitor the official information and updates provided by the authorities of your destinations. You must be aware of the information about entry restrictions in place by the country of your destination including your visa. Philippine citizens must take caution in any plans and decisions traveling abroad. They must consider their overall health, their vaccination record, as well as the possibility of getting tested positive of COVID-19 while abroad. Now, it is also strongly recommended that anyone who is planning to travel internationally must be aware the Philippine travel restrictions could change in a short notice and must be updated of the travel restrictions and protocols of your destination. So these are for the people from the Philippines going abroad or going in the country. So this is something that they need to be aware of and they need to do. So other countries may have additional travel restrictions. So that's why they need to be able to really fully aware that whatever the travel restrictions in the Philippines or within the country might be some more additional travel restrictions in the place or whatever, wherever they are going. Um, because other countries, once again, may have additional travel restrictions imposed, including the country of your destination or destinations. <laughs>